Who's there? All right. Thanks. There we go. All right. Got my stuff on. Who could be up this early in the morning? Can I help you? Uh, yeah. Is this, uh, is this Nate? Yeah. We don't want Girl Scout cookies. Oh. What do you want? Well, I saw a posting on Facebook the other day about a hired hand. I believe that was you. Yeah, I'm looking for a new hand. Uh, what you good at? A uh, little bit of everything. Uh, you put me in something, I've got you. I think I've seen you somewhere before. Aren't you the boy that owns the co-op down the road? Yes, I am. I actually uh, am the only one right there right now. You don't want to own that thing? Yeah, well, we had an employee trying to do some stuff for free, so... Uh, he got fired. So do I need to go ahead and start looking for a new co-op to go do business with? No, 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 no. Trust me. I, I, I can cover it all. Anything you need, I got. All right. You know what? As desperate as I am, I need to help. So you know what? You're hired. Yes. All right. And guess what? If you need any help at a co-op, I'll help you out, buddy. Because Lord knows we need a co-op. All right. So basically, this is our equipment we have over here. This is our main heated shop right here. That's our cold shop over there. So basically... Don't go on that one in the winter. Yeah, that'd be uh, real cold. So this is our main workhorse of the farm, the 8110. Anything you need done, she does it without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, I believe that. Now, this is a tractor I owned back when I was in McGregor, Iowa. This is an International 1006, 66. That is beautiful. Yeah, she's a nice little thing. I own this back in Iowa as well, a 4955. Both of these two harvesters are new to me. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try a gleaner out for the first time. I ain't never ran one before. And then, of course, back here we have some of our other little equipment. We have like our hay, like some of our hay equipment, header, our silage chopper. And then you saw inside this thing, but I'll go ahead and open it up just to make sure. Don't pay that no attention over there on the wall. That's Fred. This is our planter we're working with. This is a 1720, and I think she'll have all of our planting needs done. On top of that, we have a good old Kinsey grain cart hooked up to the absolute biggest tractor we have on the farm, the 8960. That is an absolute powerhouse. Exactly. And then we have a cultivator up the road, and there's a lot more equipment we have to buy still. We got to get some hogs for that right there, and we got to get some cattle for back there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be putting cattle up there yet. I know there's another cattle pen right back there. I'm going to put in, but there's another cattle barn up there. It's more like a milking dairy barn. So I'm going to see if I can contact one of the owners. One of the owners, like a big dairy operator, see if they want to lease it out. Gotcha. All right. So do you want to come with me today? We got to go pick up more equipment. I think that'd be a great idea. So do you want to go ahead and load up the 1066? Yep, I can do that. On the flatbed. I'm guessing you don't have a natural truck that has a gooseneck, do you? No, I do not. Go hook up my truck. Let me go inside and see if I can find a truck on sale on Facebook Marketplace. Deal. All right. Yep. All right. That truck right there looks perfect. Let me give him a call. <phone rings> Hello? Is that truck still available? Yes, sir. It is? All right. How much you look for it? 12000 Okay. That sounds good. Hey, do you mind if me and one of my guys run by there and take a look at it? All righty. We'll see you in a little bit. Have a good one. All right. Pack it up, William. We got to go look at a pickup truck. Oh, uh, yes, sir. We got to go look at a new-ish truck. They're wanting about twelve grand for it. Well, that ain't too bad. No, not at all. Especially for it being an 07. How many miles is on the thing? Oh, 400. Well, that ain't too bad, then. It ain't the best, but it ain't the worst. It'll get us by. Yeah, I mean, we're just running back and forth between the farm, so we don't need brand new trucks he said all right yep here it is right up here oh wow look at that this is an 07 i believe an 07 ford f350 dang i think uh i think we can make do with that what you think about her i think it's gonna work i actually really like it i think uh yeah i don't see a whole lot wrong with it either so see a little bit of rust here and there but a couple scrapes that's to be expected. Well, let me go in there. Let me go talk to the man, and we'll go ahead and buy us a new truck. Perfect. All right. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. Yep. We'll take care of it. All right. I'm going to trust you. Here's the keys. Thank you, sir. Let's go ahead and head on down the road. Let's go to the dealership and buy some new equipment. Perfect. You know what? Why don't you attach that son of a gun to that? I mean, that truck should be more capable of that than this truck is. That's true. All right. I'm going to pull on in here. He's got our new truck. We had to put a new hitch on there, but after we got the new hitch on, we're doing pretty good now. How does she work? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, she's perfect, honestly. I'm not going to lie. She might have uh, a lot of miles, but I like her. Perfect here. So I know we need a feed mixer. 
I like this one right here. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I kind of like that one as well. Do we want the big one or the smaller one? How much do you think we're going to do? Minimum 300. 180. 180. <laughs> All right, yeah. So we'll get to 180. We want the lifted nose or non lifted nose? I think non. Yeah, I think we go non. So we'll do that. We need a bell shredder, definitely. There's no getting by that. Pigs. I only plan on doing 50 pigs so we can get away with just one grinder. I mean, we can pick up this wind rower yeah i think that'd be pretty useful do we want that one or do we want this mm, yeah let's go with the bigger one we we have an issue what's the issue do we want to get another flatbed trailer or and wait on getting the cattle trailer or we want to go ahead and get a cattle trailer uh, i say we get the cattle trailer we're we're gonna need it we'll go ahead and get the cattle trailer today then so we'll we'll pick this one up right here let me go let's go inside the dealership here and let's go ahead and negotiate it perfect all right that was a hard bargain he drew up but one hundred and ninety three thousand dollars later and we have all of our equipment that we actually need to start farming with i'd say that's a pretty good deal not too bad at all all right we're gonna park this right here shut it off and she should be good right there let's go ahead and get everything unloaded and we should be looking pretty good bud perfect all righty there we go all of our stuff's in there nice neat and organized we got everything finally back to the farm where it needs to go man our ready day is done all right you ready to get on to the next part? Yes, sir. So, we need to cultivate another field. Yep. Uh, well, we got two more fields we have to cultivate. Yeah, we did some of our fields already, but we got to go ahead and cultivate. So, we got to cultivate the last two fields of ours. On top of cultivating those two fields, we need to anhydrous uh, some fields as well. So, let's head down to the co-op and uh, pick up some anhydrous equipment. And just to show I'm serious about picking up anhydrous equipment, I'm taking my big boy. I'm thinking this year, like down there in these little rows in between our grass fields, we'll put, we're going to put in hot, we're going to hydrous all this right here. This is going to be corn. Gotcha. Uh, what do you think we should mainly plant this year? Corn or what? Or soybeans? Uh, I've been looking at some projected charts and I, I say we go corn. All right. So we'll go with mainly corn and uh, we'll put our secondary as soybeans. Alrighty, let's pull on in the here. Let's talk to the co-op guy, aka the guy behind us, and see what we can get. Well, if we come over here, we have a plethora of equipment that we can choose from. So here we okay. have all of our anhydrous bars, so we can just grab one or two of these, and then our tanks are out back. So we would have to kind of get this one right here if we were going to get any of them, right? Yeah, yeah, you would want the TB60. Okay, so we'll, we'll pick that one up. What about anhydrous tanks? So our anhydrous tanks are out back. I'm thinking for that big of a setup, you'd probably want to use that triple tank setup. Okay, how much uh, does it hold? It currently holds 1,145 gallons in the triple tank. Okay, if I was to use all that, how much would that cost? That that is going to cost around 17358 but it's going to be hard for you to probably use all that, so we're looking at more about fifteen uh, fifty per gallon. So it'll just uh, we'll just see how much you use, and then we'll tally it up from there. All right. Do you want to get like your tractors out and pull it around there and fill it in hydrous while I get the bar out? Perfect. Hey, where do you want this tractor at? Uh, just park it around the corner. Get it out of the way. All right, I'm going to park in front of this shed door over here. Shut that off right there. Nice little setup in there. Yeah, I really like it. Let's take our beast of a machine and pull it around the corner. Or pull it around and let's go ahead and attach it. How's she doing? She is full. All righty. Go ahead and untatch it. Make sure I don't accidentally hit one of the tanks over here. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's let's not do that. Why? Wow, don't you want to see a fireworks show? Uh, you might be the fireworks show. Hey, my mom always said go out with a bang. You're right about that. All right. You ready to head down the road? Yes, sir. Hey, just a little advice. You might want to get an actual exit other than just driving across the scale. Yeah. Oh, there we go. A little risky. A little? You said that's a little. Hey, if you got off a little bit and that tank went boom, not my problem. I hear you about that. It would have been your problem. You'd be needing a new scale. Yeah, and a new triple tank since it's the only one we got. This is the only triple tanks you have? Yeah. All right. I'm going to pull on in here. This will be the first fields I do. Hey, do you want to go ahead and get the 8110 pulled out with all of its stuff? Yes, sir. And if you get that pulled out, we'll go ahead and get that started on tillage as well. Perfect. Yeah. There's the valve. Got to make sure we got our mask on. Now we can at least see what we're putting down for anhydrous. And we're taking it from a nice good yellow to a nice good dark green. But we'll go ahead and just pull it all the way across. This is all we should have to do for us today. As you sit in this tractor, hopefully nothing else 
nothing goes wrong, because I would hate to have to repair this son of a gun. Alrighty, so we're almost done with this field over there. We've already done two of the majority of the passes. Now, I do know next year this field right here is going to be soybeans, so I don't really got to worry about it as much. But I still want to make sure our corn is going to have the best chance to succeed as we can give it. I know he's still over there cultivating field 25 right now, but I don't know how far he is along in it. The only thing I wish with this right here is a little bit bigger so I can swoop it all in one pass. That'd be so nice right now. There we go. Okay. Now that our trickiest field is done, let's start on our not so tricky fields that we can knock out a little bit quicker and easier. So at this field, we're also planning on putting a corn. Honestly, for what me and William was talking about, we plan on putting a lot of corn down this year. And if that's the case, we need to make sure we go ahead and put in hydros down right now. Because it looks like we're putting down five gallons per acre right now of in hydras. All right, we're just going to go ahead and pull over here into our next field. Unfold this. Now we're going to do this field and a couple other ones on this road down here. We're starting to get trucking on down here. We've already started on this field. This is actually one of a little bit bigger of our fields. We do, of course, have a lot more fields. Maybe eventually we'll, like, disc up some of this land in between and not keep it so broken up. But I don't know what our exact plans are with it just as of right now, so I'm not going to plan on it. Uh, Nate? What's going on there, buddy? Small problem. What's a small problem? Uh, you, you might want to see it for yourself, maybe? What did you do? Uh, the disc went over a rock, and now one of the sections is not there anymore. What? Yeah. Alright, give me one minute. Let me shut the hydros off. Can I get back here, turn this thing off? I'm just gonna leave it out here in the field. Don't you dare move a muscle. Stand in the steel. Alright, let's come take a look at this. How? Uh, I swear it was covered by dirt. I would have never, you know, I wouldn't have gone over that. It just, it must have been shallow. Why would you do that? Oh, this Honest is Honest no accident. Good. You realize how long this is going to take us to fix. Yeah. Uh, hope you have a welder? I don't. Let's get it loaded up in the back of my truck. Let's go see if one of the neighbors have a welder. Okay. All right. Did you shut the tractor off? Yep, it shut off. You know none of our neighbors are going to believe you, this, right? It's an honest mistake. Brendan, you on the radio? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? You have a welder at your farm. Yeah, I think I have one over in my older barn. It's got a, uh, I think it has a sign that says Elm Creek on the top of it if you want to go in there and grab it. Uh, what do you need it for? Uh, you want to come over here to your farm and check out what my employee did? Because I got to weld it back together. Uh, yeah, I'll be down there in a second. What's going on? Could you believe this don't belong on my back of my truck? How did this it looks like it's supposed to be there <laughs> not it fits well yeah kind of does you saying you don't plow with your truck anymore no 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 don't so that's supposed to be right here yep yeah how'd that happen did uh, you hit a tree no he hit a he hit a nice good rock in the middle of the field and it knocked it right off how big of a rock did you hit to have the oh, whole thing was, come off <laughs> it was a doozy it's a big rock <laughs> it was it was a nice one are you blind or something how'd you not see it it was covered up by dirt. Uh, of course it was. I can't blame you there, I guess. Well, it's an honest mistake, so. Now I got a weld new bracket on. Of course, he had to do this before I got the new welders and stuff like that in. Oh, yeah. Are you just, you're going to replace these brackets? So we'll take these brackets off before putting it back on? Uh, kind of. Well, so there's some of these parts I don't think John Deere is going to be able to get to me anytime soon. So we're going to fabricate them. Yeah, that's probably best. There we go. Whew, I think I got all the cracks finally welded off of that. All right. Do you want to lower that down and let's all, all let's get since we got a lot of helpers here and get everybody to help us put it underneath there so that we can weld it on there correctly. Perfect. Yeah, we can do that. Brandon, I'm just gonna put your big welder right there. All right, that works. It's gonna be like a five thousand dollar charge to use it. By the way. <laughs> you funny. That, that wasn't a joke. All right. Let's see if we can right. get it over there. Three, two, one. one. There we go. go. All right. Uh, uh. There we go. All right. We need to put it underneath here, this side. Yep. Yep. All right, that should be good enough. Now we just got to push it right underneath there. If y'all boys kind of want to get on either side and, like, lift it up, or actually, we can make our job just a little bit easier. Lifting or lowering. Oh, look, it just, it's perfect. There you go. Yep. Yep. Let's get it welded on and uh, get it fixed up. There we go. Ah. I think she'll do there. You got a feel we could test this on real fast? Uh, not really. We just need to run through, like, plain dirt or something. Uh, if you go across the road, yeah, going across the road, I have a field that's not planted. Uh, you can try it over there. All right. 
Go jump on up on that. Let's go across the road real fast, see if it works. All right, let her go. Yeah, she can barely tell a difference. It actually looks like it's doing yeah, maybe a little bit better of a job. Honestly, yeah. I think we're done. Go ahead and fold it up. Let's go ahead and take it back to the farm. That'll work. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, if he breaks anything else, just come on down and use the welder. It's all yours. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'm going to... I'll come back down here if I need it. It's just... I didn't like having to come down here in the first place. All righty, boys. I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all later. Are y'all meeting us at the co-op later for the poker game? When's that? Tonight after work? Yeah, yeah, I can meet you there. Yeah, we can be there. All right, I'll see y'all boys there. Yep, see you there. All right, William, you back in your tractor over there? Yes, sir. All right, go ahead and knock out all that over there. Will do. Do me a favor. Yes, sir. Don't break it this time. Can't promise that. With how little nitrogen we've already put down, we might just throw down nitrogen on everything. I know that's not realistic to say on all the uh, plots of land, but I think just, or at least on like these, because I know how bad on nitrogen they really are. They need a year to repair. And so if we go ahead and put nitrogen down now, when we put beans on them, then we'll be able to get the beans off. They'll still have a really good nitrogen levels. All righty, we're done with all that. What you got left in your tank? I have... I have 643 gallons. You wanna know how much I got left of mine? Probably not a lot. 113 gallons. Ooh, you put down some anhydrous. Yeah, we put down a lot of, well, there's a bad part is I know some of those anhydrous tanks ain't gonna even be needed, but it was better to put it down now and save me money next year because whatever's corn this year, I plan on being beans next year and vice versa. I hope not to have to put down too much anhydrous. Or if I do, I might side dress. All right, you want the tank back over here, right? Yes, sir. All righty. Let me write down how much I have on my monitor here. I have 113.7 gallons left. Okay. All righty. Do you want a toolbar put back up right, or you want me to put that somewhere else so you can, you can wash it off and make sure it's okay to go back out? Yeah, we can go ahead and uh, just park that in this lot over here, and I'll get it cleaned up. Same lot as the anhydrous? Yes, yeah, sir. All righty. You got your stuff written down from inside your monitor? Yes, yeah, sir. All right, let's head inside the office and get all of our stuff figured out and figure out how much I owe. What are we looking at? So for your total, just for yours, you used a little over 1,031 gallons, so that total comes out to 15,985.15. Alrighty, here's your check. Thank you, sir. How much was in yours? I used 119 gallons, and that total comes out to 1,849. Alright, there's that check as well. Thank you. Let's go get this poker game before I let you rob me anymore. Perfect. Time for me to win some of that money back. Alright, we're finding the keys up there. Nate, you like making an entrance, don't you? I can't help. I'm the only one that actually got done with work. I mean, I, I have two. My last little bit of field that needs to be planted is being planted. <laughs> I haven't even started planting yet. Yeah, I'm almost done. That's good for you. Yeah, we haven't even, me and uh, me and William was trying to knock out cultivation. We had our, we had everything go wrong today that could go wrong. You gotta love those days. Oh yeah, you gotta love those days. But we're ready to get done, knock out the anhydrous, but we're hoping to start tomorrow on planting. Oh, nice. Okay, so I gotta start robbing people in this poker game after I just got robbed. Oh boy. How was your day, Chris? Pretty eventful. It was a good one. Got a lot, got grass planted at my farm, got to uh, cut some grass at brendan's farm as well as uh planted some soybeans pretty good day that's good good to see y'all doing good what's your plan with that grass field of yours i think i got two grass fields plan as of right now is to mow it ourselves and bail it if we can find somebody else to do it use our equipment or whatever they have to do that'd be preferred but we still might mow it and bail it everything like that during the spring when we got extra time and when we don't got time for it let somebody else do it all right yeah keep me in mind keep you in mind buddy now you know what i'm not gonna keep you in mind for what is taking all your money. Yeah, well, we're going to start this. And that's the only thing we got left to do. Who's dealing? Guess I'm a dealing. Oh, you're dealing? All right, deal it. Deal it out. 